Oh, hey. <coughs> How'd you get down there? You were down there, now you're up here. Aren't you glad that I lifted you up? In this video, we're gonna be talking about how do you surrender as a method to let go and of anxiety just in general. Now, originally this was gonna be this big ass video planned around approach anxiety, which is the common thing of, I'm afraid to talk to new people. But let's take a step back. Let's take a step back and look at anxiety in motherfucking general. Now, if you don't know what surrender is, which you should by now, surrender is the very simple process of allowing yourself to feel an emotion in which it runs its course, and then eventually we let it go, we have surrendered it, we have, we have concluded that emotion, so we are healed from it, and we ultimately, in, without, without a better way of saying it, we have mastery over that emotion. Now, anxiety is a big fucking topic, mate. Big topic. The reason why I say that is because what do people do to get over anxiety? Popping pills. We watch TV. We take drugs. We spend time with friends. We do all things that we actually truly desire, but often as a method of hiding from anxiety. We numb ourselves in order to live life normally. But in the end of the day, at a deep level, we are struggling. I keep using the word emotional pandemic, but I swear to God, this is one of those things that we just got used to. We got used to feeling anxious. We got used to feeling sad. We got used to feeling depressed. We got used to the stress, not the stress. We got used to numbing ourselves. This is why I'm, I am an adamant person to not demonize too much. People say, Pornography is bad. People say watching TV is bad. But it is not evil. It is, in a way, not necessarily the devil. What is, is demonizing it. That's why they call it demonizing. <laughs> um, so, what I'm getting across here is that it's not what we do that truly matters. It's why we do it. It's the, the method, the, the reason behind the things. So are we doing something to numb ourselves or are we doing something because we truly, truly love it? And I would argue that doing it out of love is much more powerful than doing it out of numbing. So that's why anxiety is a huge, a huge emotional pandemic on this planet. Because nobody knows how to fucking deal with it. Now, in my own life, I personally have struggled with it. I, I've often talked about approach anxiety in the past, like, or maybe in this video, I can't remember. I've, I've restarted filming this video like three times already, so I can't remember what I said and what I haven't said. But approach anxiety being the fear of talking to someone. Now, in my own life, I used to coach the men's on not just how to deal with approach anxiety, but how to get past it, how to actually speak to the women of their dreams. And when speaking with women, coaching with women, there is a similar anxiety. What happens is, is we learn all of these strategies in actual fact to avoid feeling the anxiety. So we are avoiding it, we are not dealing with it. Even in my own life, it got to the point where I realized that I'd built up all of these layers. This is why I talk about mother flipping layers all the time. I developed all of these layers like, like, <clears throat> like, oh, do this, do this, feel this, feel this, 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 this. When deep down, there was a little kid in me that knew that I didn't need all of those things. It's like, um, yeah, so imagine for a second that, just imagine for one second, you are anxious for something. Like you are anxious because, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice, I think. <clears throat> Jesus. <clears throat> Man, 
Thank you for watching. Subscribe today. Um, think about something you're anxious for just a second. Like just one second. Think about something that you are anxious about. Now, some, peop some people have a lot of strategies on how to deal with that anxiety. You know, they might be like, oh, this, say this, do this, make sure you have this mental strategy, all of this stuff, all layers built up to protect yourself. Now imagine for a second it was okay to feel that anxiety. That's it. That's, that's it in a nutshell. Surrender. If you want to get over the anxiety, it's time to surrender to that anxiety, to let it run its course. Now, the interesting thing about anxiety is that it tends to, just like everything, we will prolong anxiety, we will prolong it, not because we are not feeling it, but because we have all these extra feelings around the anxiety. We're afraid of feeling anxious. We're ashamed of it. We think we should be better than it. We feel like we... It's like I, we shouldn't feel anxious. We compare ourselves to others. Well, they aren't anxious. Why should I be anxious? We suppress anxiety so we don't let it go to its next natural form, which is excitement. Anxiety, when set free, will turn into an action and excitement. So if you are afraid of speaking to someone you're attracted to, if you are anxious about something in your life, about starting something, instead of trying to push past it, instead of trying to come up with some strategy just so at an ego level you can say to yourself, at least I did it, I did it, thank God. This is about setting your soul free. Setting yourself free so you can play in the world. So instead of trying to numb yourself from the anxiety, now is the time to let yourself be anxious. At least for the rest of this video. Surrender to those feelings of feeling anxious. Surrender to that anxiety that you might feel towards something. Usually we have a lot of grief. We're not just anxious, we're grieving. We're grieving the fact that we are anxious. So we don't let ourselves feel anxious because we haven't let ourselves grief. grieve. And grief can take its time. In my own life, basically what happened was, was I realized I developed all of these strategies to teach people and teach myself on how to interact with strangers. Strangers that I knew that as a child, before I developed these layers, I knew how to interact with. There was one point when I finally learned about surrender where I had to realize that, hey, I'm just going to have to forget everything. I'm going to have to let go of all my fucking ideas and logical and ego around it all. Like, oh, I can do this. And I'm going to have to just surrender to the feeling of feeling anxious. Eventually it ran out. And like a bubble in my chest, it popped. And now I have peace. Do I, can I talk to people? Yes. Can I not talk to people? Yes. But it doesn't mean as much anymore. And usually when it means less to you, it means less to other people. You know, people are afraid of rejection because it means so much. But once we've accepted and surrendered to rejection, just like we surrendered to anxiety, means less to you, means less to other people. So you can have smaller conversations with people more often, but smaller conversations, then you develop a good acumen towards it. You develop really positive associations and you allow yourself to connect and share with other people in ways that does not matter, just like this, in ways like this. So thank you so much for watching. If you do need a guide through Surrender, I am here. You can, details below. And if not, well, choice is yours.